Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video taking a look at some option parts here for the 30 minutes missions line. This time we're going to be taking a look at two different option sets here for the Seal Nova. This one is the option armor for high mobility and this one is the option armor for commander. So if you've got the Seal Nova, you can use these parts. I'm not sure how these will be compatible with other kits online. We'll try that out, but these are kind of meant for the Seal Nova, but of course you can always customize and do things as you like. So we'll go in numerical order as this one is number 27 in the line, this one is number 30 and start off with the high mobility type here. So basically, as you can see, you get this new piece of armor for the chest, new shoulder armor, new head armor, which is very unique with this kind of very pointy face, and then these big bits that go there on the sides of the shoulders, and that's going to be kind of the extent of what you got in here. There's a look at those parts down here at the bottom, and then obviously this is not including the full Seal Nova kit. That should be pretty obvious, but you know, just in case it's not. So once again, here on the back, it's just kind of showing these in use with uh, a white Seal Nova there for an example. And again, if you guys are unfamiliar, these are also available in many different colors as well too. So I'm just, for example, here taking a look at the blue color version, but I know there's uh, a few different other colors available. So opening this up inside here, it looks like we are going to have some foil stickers there. And interesting to note with this foil sticker sheet, you have the three that you're going to be using for the new face parts, but then you have all this big wide open uh, pink, foil pink. Definitely going to want to hang on to this because you can cut your own camera stickers. So if you have another kit or something that doesn't have a sticker for the back head camera or something like that for a Gundam kit or something like that, you just cut a little square out of this. This can be useful. So hang on to this because you can use that for camera stickers and things like that. So the instructions are just printed on the back of there. Should be pretty simple. It's not that many parts included here. As you can see, it's just the one runner. A10 is the label for this and then OPA for the bottom half of that, I guess. So there's the parts. Very simple, easy. Let's go ahead and just move on to the next set then. For the option armor here for Commander, there's a look at what you got with this. Once again, it's just different piece of armor there for the chest, head, shoulders, and that's about it. In this case, it is in blue-gray for the color. And then on the back here, there's just another look at this in use or combined with other parts to make it look like that. Pretty wild. Inside this one here, once again, you got your instructions on the inside right there. Easy enough. And then our one single runner, which is pretty small indeed, just for the parts like that. Some nice detail on there, on the front anyway. So just focus on that. But there it is. So let me go ahead and get these two sets just kind of clipped off the runners and we'll try them out on the Seal Nova. Okay, so for the high mobility type, there you go. That's what you got. You get your shoulder parts, your face part, the backpack part, and the chest part. So let's go ahead and take a look at how these look on our Seal Nova here. So the chest part first, important to note, so will not work on the other variants like the Alto or the Porta Nova because the three holes here on the chest are different. So this chest piece, as far as I know, I think will only work on the Seal Nova here. So you're limited with that. For the face mask, you'll just remove that part there on the front replace that here with this huge beak. There you go. I don't know, it doesn't exactly necessarily scream high mobility to me with this giant nose cone sticking off your face, but there you go. For the backpack part, you just remove this part up here on the back and add this sort of like a spoiler kind of thing there, I guess, you know, it makes sense for high mobility, sort of, right? And the shoulder armor is an easy swap here. Now the shoulder armor should work on pretty much any other kit because it's, you know, a pretty universal connection piece just fits right onto the peg right there for the shoulder armor. And there you go, it's looking pretty cool. I gotta say some really interesting parts and definitely a lot of versatility there with those, uh, especially on the shoulders. You have a lot of attachment points, those kind of like hook bits there on the top of the shoulders and then also like around on the kind of ball attachment pieces. So there's a lot of places where you could plug those on or move those to different parts of the kit or something like that. So definitely some nice pieces there. It's a small, simple set, but you know, I think it does give you some nice options. That chest part is also pretty cool as well too. The spoiler as well. I don't know if you guys might like that. It might be a personal thing, whether you're into the look of that or not, but the face part is kind of the weirdest thing for me, which I feel like, I don't know if it's going to really be all that useful necessarily, but it's uh, unique certainly. So if you wanted to have a kind of a uh, beak, faced a seal nova i guess one way to do that but i'll just show you a couple examples of just testing out a couple things here uh just what you could possibly do with these parts but obviously it's open to a lot more customization if you guys are just you know creative with it then here are the commander parts which i gotta say i think i like definitely even more and there's some cool stuff here so you have the spoiler on the back which is basically the same just going to be in a different color here obviously because the set is in a different color that just goes up there, the new faceplate, which I definitely quite like. It's got some cool rabbit ears kind of going there 
on that. It looks a bit odd. Uh, the color scheme doesn't match, but uh, I think once you have this painted in like a matching color scheme, then it's a pretty cool looking new faceplate there for that. New chest piece also looking pretty cool and fits with the style of the other parts we've got on there so far. The shoulders are also pretty cool. The main shoulder piece is the same. It's only the part that attaches onto the side that's going to be different in this case. So instead of the big ball part, you got this kind of uh, fin sort of wing kind of looking thing off to the side, which you could turn the other way around to make it look like some sort of like kind of cannon kind of thing, like fire in there and a sort of like energy cannon sort of thing, firing off the side of the shoulder there. These can obviously just be taken off and just plugged onto whatever, you'll just need a connection piece. Now you don't have any connection pieces included with this set, but you have the runner. You could just cut off a little snippet, a little uh, just like less than a centimeter, a little piece of runner, and use that as like a connection piece if you wanted to plug this onto the front of the knee, for example, something like that. You could very easily just use a piece of runner for that, so simple enough. But now aside from these pieces, which are all very cool, we do also have a couple of ankle extension pieces, which were not included in the high mobility type. So for these, you're just going to remove the ball joint off of your existing ankle piece, plug that onto here. And then this is just going to be an extension piece for right here. Plug that onto there to extend the leg out further and then add it onto there. So it does add a kind of a little bit more to your ankle joint, so it's gonna make it a bit weird, but ultimately basically it's just to make the legs even longer. And the Steel Nova already has some kind of really big chunky legs, but now they're even longer and a bit kind of weird looking, but I don't know. I quite like the look of the Steel Nova's legs just as they are. So I'll probably end up using these extension pieces for a different kit, because these should be able to be used with pretty much any kit in the line uh, to make the legs a little bit longer. Because, I don't know, when you're looking at it, I mean, it looks a bit like he's wearing high water pants. Like, his pants are just not quite long enough, so you're seeing a little bit more of the socks or ankles or something going on there. It looks a bit weird, but I don't know, I think it's just because the color difference is kind of why it's tricking the eye a little bit. It's one of those things where, you know, once it gets painted all in one same color, then it's going to be much more convincing looking. But I don't know, I mean, it's, it's not bad. It's definitely unique. It's, Certainly some interesting proportions there for the legs now. And as far as just like the parts on the top half of the body, I love them. I think that those parts on the top half uh, of the body, the shoulder parts, the spoiler, the face piece, the new chest piece, they all look great. So really nice design on those. Really cool set here, definitely. While we take a look at a couple of examples here, that's just about going to do it here for this video today, guys. Thanks so much for checking it out. If you're interested in all this different 30 minutes mission stuff, of course, you can check out the kits, the option parts sets, the weapon sets, and all that kind of good stuff at USA Gundam Store. So check the link and the coupon code down there in the video description below and uh, pick up some stuff for yourself and just have some fun mixing and matching the stuff, you know, creating some customs. It's a lot of fun to just kind of play around with these and just see what you can come up with. So definitely check some of them out. And they also don't cost hardly anything as well, too. So they're pretty cool kits. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below, and as always, thank you guys so much for your support, liking the video, commenting, subscribing. Hope you guys found the video useful, and until next time, guys, I'll see y'all later. Have a good one. Bye, guys.